Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Hope you guys are having a, a wonderful day. I think today we are going to do a little bit of greed mode. Uh, do at least one greed mode run, maybe two, depending on how quickly it goes, all that kind of good stuff. Let's take a look and see what we got. Three cent key is pretty good. We can bomb this. A uh, little bit of money, not enough for... Not enough for a key, but pretty close. Take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. And we get an HP upgrade, which actually I probably should have re-rolled, come to think of it. Oh well. That's all right. I'm stopping the clock uh, right away because I want to be able to get the boss room or the uh, the item room item right away. And we have this three cent key over here. And then I think what we'll probably do is the rest of the stuff that we buy on this. Well, we'll probably buy a couple. Oh, Pyromaniac is so good. So good. Okay. So that's like incredibly good. <laughs> like top tier. Okay. So let's uh, let's start knocking out some waves here now. We have the ability to heal using bombs if we need to. So that's pretty solid. There we go. And then I think we'll buy a couple of keys because we're going to need them. And they're on sale here, so we can save ourselves a little bit of money. Oh, that was not great, but that's all right. Um, let's do one of these. Heal up a little bit with a bomb. Oh, there's so many enemies. I let him get. I let him get ahead of me. And these these stonies are gonna be like super annoying. Oh, come on! Enough now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow up in my face. There we go. They're saving me by, <laughs> by blowing up. Thank you, Pyromaniac, for making this not quite as bad as it could be otherwise. Uh, we are taking a ton of bad damage, though. Bomb. Bomb save me. Thank you. Lot of damage that we shouldn't be taking, but at the same time, it could be worse. And then I think this is all the waves... Those, it really, the big problem is that I, I kind of let it get away from me, and now I'm in a little bit of a bad situation, but that's okay. Yep, blow up in my face. Thank you. Okay, so that was rough. <laughs> that was very rough. So let's blow these up. Hopefully get five cents uh, and a little bit more. Very nice. Okay. Anything else that we'd want to actually blow up over here? Probably not. So, at this point, I think you fight the bosses. Got Champion Ragman. And I think it's just Champion Ragman. I don't think it's, uh... Yeah, yeah, just him. By himself. That's not terrible. Could be a lot worse. And we'll use bombs if we need to. Uh, I do like the fact that when he throws his head, they go into those little spiders instead of the really annoying ones. But he also tends to launch a little bit more of the homing shots, it seems like. Oh, there's our second boss. Got a couple of gurglings. Uh, blow up. Okay. I think... I think we'll be okay. If we keep getting explodey enemies... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Nah, I, I wasn't close enough to any of them. But these bombs are basically going to keep me alive. You're dead. And apparently this one is immune. These guys are immune to bombs. Or maybe it's just their own bombs? Still, Pyromaniac. You're amazing, and I love you. This way, we, if we had not gotten Pyromaniac, we would not have completed that wave. <laughs> or we wouldn't have made it through, like, the first round, honestly. Uh, okay, so... Now we fight the deal with the devil wave. And basically Larry Jr. should be... Pretty easy. We got a lot of space to kind of maneuver and, and get out of the way. So I think we'll be... Oh, let's not get trapped into a corner. But we'll just keep putting down a little bit of damage. We do want a uh, damage upgrade. We do have a little bit of extra health as well, which is nice. So, uh, And we have our, our D6. So depending on what we get in the deal with the devil, we'll re-roll it or, or see what we can get. With my luck, I'll probably just get like a bunch of red chests or something. Which would be very unfortunate, but we'll see. 
Maybe, I mean, we already got lucky and got Pyromaniac, so maybe I shouldn't be complaining, eh? Just keep putting in some damage. They're getting down there now. They should be dying pretty soon here. There's one. Two. There we go. All we got left is this, this guy right here. And he's going to start breaking apart into pieces here very, very soon. He's got to be almost dead. Yeah, you're dead. You're just, just die. Just give it up. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, okay, so Guppy's hairball is a Guppy item, so I'll take it. And then we'll re-roll this, and I'm not going to trade a heart away for cube of meat. That's not worth it. Uh, so then, let's buy... Let's see, we're on the first floor, so let's buy like one, two, three, four, five keys. That'll be, that should be like all the keys that we need. Um, but they're at a discount, so I think it's worth it. Oh, there was a tinted rock that I saw at the very last second as I was already going through the, tra the trap door. Ah, <sighs> okay, that's fine. Uh, analog stick is kind of trash, so, well, I shouldn't say that. It's not trash but it's also not great. Uh, and the heart here is an HP up, but it will also completely restore your health. So I think what we do, lemon party, lemon party speed down, garbage and garbage. Uh, again, nothing really great in the shop. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reroll analog stick. Um, let's start fighting some waves here. And we're going to reroll analog stick and hopefully get something a little better than analog stick. That's the that's the goal. If we can make it happen. Um, also, I think I'm going to stop immediately after. Well, you know what? There's I'm not going to have enough waves either way to, to reroll twice on this floor. It's not possible. Once we start getting stone, these little stony guys in the mix, that's when this starts to get annoying because they don't go away. Ever. They just stay there. I suppose we could try and do like a little a little guppy guppy's hairball action. But I think really what we should do is just kind of keep doing our thing. And if we could get like some explodey enemies, that would be excellent. And very much appreciated. Help me out a little bit here. Oh, there's so many! Guppy's hairball is doing some work for us though so that's good and remember we can completely restore our health at the end of this and if I get hit again I can use some bombs to negate a little bit of this damage okay bomb there we go oh boy uh yeah okay 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 careful there we go heal up a little bit the ability to heal using pyromaniac is very, very good for us. So maybe what we'll end up... Oh. Shouldn't have gotten hit there, but... That's alright. We're on... We, we're through all the waves at this point. It's just a matter of killing the enemies that are left over. I got half a heart here. I just need to not get hit again. And then we'll be able to fully heal ourselves using the heart in the boss room item. Come on. Oh, don't get hit. There we go. All right, we're through. We're through. We made it in one piece. So, first things first. Grab this. Heal. Um, now, do we take analog stick? I think we... Oh, there we go. That's actually great. Sack dagger's much better. So, we're not going to be able to re-roll our deal with the devil room item, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Um, and if these bombs, like, whatever. So we're gonna just kind of get right up on him and let Sack Dagger do a little bit of work. There we go. And again. You're dead. Just die. Just give it up. Sack Dagger. Very nice. That went really well. And again. Wanna get in here with some Sack Dagger action and... Try and kill these guys as quickly as possible. If you can just, like, hold still. Hold, yeah, die. There we go. 
All right, where where's he at? Here he is. Get on him with sack dagger. There we go. He's dead. All right, what do we got? Dark Prince's crown and Ouija board. Since when is Ouija board a deal with the devil item? Okay, if you say so, game. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Let's head down to the next floor. Oh, did I grab analog stick? No, that's right. I re-rolled it. I re-rolled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was losing my mind there for a sec. We're okay. We're okay. Everything is fine. Uh, okay, so this... Well, the present we'll probably buy to get a free deal with the devil item. That chest I could technically get to. Uh, that is not... That's... Oh, magic mush. So good. Okay, so here's the plan. We are going to do a little bit of this. Uh, ow. Kill this guy. Magic Mush is very helpful for us. Try not to take a bunch of super bad damage, even though that's kind of already happened. These stupid bat bats take so long to die. Let's get at, get at him over there. All right, and now what I need to do is that. I need to stop it after this wave so that I can get a D6 for the deal with the devil. There we go. All right. That seems good. Or maybe, maybe the better option is to get another item room item so we're not wasting our health. So we'll pop this in here. Cricket's head is pretty good. But not as good when you have Magic Mushroom. However, it is a damage upgrade, and I do need the damage. So we'll take this. Uh, I'm going to re-roll this into Steam Sail, which is excellent. Uh, we will take Hive Mind. And Mama Mega is pretty useless for me uh, on in greed mode. So now we can go back to Fighting Waves again. We're up to 7.3 damage, which is still not amazing, but... It's not terrible. There we go. Come on. Can we like... There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sack dagger. Thank you. Sacrificial dagger is doing so much good work for us right here. We just let him kind of run into that and die. There we go. All right. Uh, down a couple hearts, but I'm not super worried about it. I still have bombs that I can heal myself with if needed. Mega Maw is going to be dead. There we go. You're dead. And again, Sack Dagger. Get in there. Ooh, careful. Careful. We need to be cautious. And next, uh, and I actually, I can step on the switch. I can walk over the switch without worrying too much. There we go. Come on. Get on there with Sack Dagger. Yeah, there we go. We got him. He's dead. Okay. Um, it's the last wave. And it's Brownie, which is annoying, but I can deal with Brownie. You just gotta stay out of the way. Of some of these little guys right here. Come on, can we get in there? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Just stay on him. Try to avoid the the corn pellets or whatever those things are. I don't really want to know. I don't even want to know what they are. There's some sort of yellow something or other. There we go. I think Sack Dagger saved me there, but we're fine. We're good. We made it through. And now we got a Krampus fight, which is, like, the last thing that I wanted to see right now. And we get Lump of Coal, or uh, Krampus's head, which is terrible, but we'll re-roll it into nine lives, which... <sighs> Whether or not that was a good idea remains to be seen. It is a guppy item. We're one guppy item away. Oh, and guppy's head. We're guppy. We're guppy. Okay, so that was totally worth it. So get this. That's fine. Now we can fly. So we can take this. Uh, we might as well use Guppy's head once. That costs us a life, but we're guppy. 
and we have hive mind. So we're we're hive mind guppy, which is just like the dream. That is the dream right there. Uh, I'm gonna leave guppy's head behind, and we're gonna head down to the next floor. Now, now we have the offensive power we need to beat greed. Uh, I would like to be able to donate a ton of money. Uh, yeah, I'll buy a lump of coal. Lump of coal's pretty good. Swing in here. This is a death card, which is... Eh? Might as well grab this. Let's check and see what we got in our other rooms. So in here we have... Jumper cables, which is great, and the spoon, which is... Not as great. Uh, it is a speed upgrade, though. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to re-roll this. I think we will take jumper cables for sure. Um. Yeah, we'll take the speed upgrade. We need at least one. Just so I'm a little bit faster. Alright, let's get going. And the fact that we're guppy now is hopefully going to make a, all the difference for us. That's That's my hope. And hive mind, not just guppy, but hive mind guppy, which is obviously even better. And we've got lump of coal. I mean, all in all, we have a lot of we have the offensive power we need at this point. It's just a matter of getting the defensive power we need. Come on. Oh, another one still up here. That's fine. Careful. Thank you, Sacrificial Dagger, for saving me. Come on. Pop up and die. I do kind of hate these enemies. Pop up. Die. And you too. There we go. They're all dead. Take the money. Check in here. Uh, I think we re-roll all of this. Oh, Head of the Keeper. So good. Um, three Cent Spirit Heart. Buy a couple of those. The rest of this I don't really need. I'm going to buy another Three Cent Spirit Heart, though. But Head of the Keeper is great. That's going to give us a ton of money. So I think now we're in a, a pretty good position. Careful. Uh, and I can't actually get to you. Hold still. Die. There we go. One down. Oh, carrion queen. Okay. Yep. Keep uh, keep running around. Keep running around. Come on, carrion queen. Hold still. Hold still so I can kill you. There we go. Come on. Got it. You're dead. And finally, the boss room wave, which is mom's heart. You're dead. Come on. Get, get on there with the sacrificial dagger. Lot of un, not, a lot of not so good damage there, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Whore of Babylon. That's an interesting conundrum. Uh, we Well, actually, let's reroll both. Uh, so we definitely take contract from below because it's amazing. And we'll take more of the void. Even though it's going to take one of our lives, one life when you have six is really not that valuable. I think you're better off getting one, like, really good life. And Maw of the Void is very good. So, we're going to get a ton of money. So, we're going to buy a ton of Spirit Hearts. Because they're three cents. And we have money to do it. Right? So, there we go. That should, uh, you know what? Let's just finish it off. Let's just, let's just get all the way up there. Oh, we'll put that there. That's a terrible place for that to be. All right, down to the next floor. So now we're on Shoal, then we're on the chest, and then we're on the final floor. Let's see. In here we have this, which is a Tears Up. And also gives me a chance to do some other things. Um, An HP upgrade, we'll, we'll leave that for now. We might come back for that. Let's see what we got in here. One penny. Battery charge. Battery charge is going to be very useful for us. Um, yeah, so instead of rolling the HP up, I think we're going to take the, uh, also, we need to blow this up, because that one's going to shoot homing shots at me, and they will catch me off guard at some point. 
There we go. So let's re-roll this into Mr. Dolly. There we go. Another tier's up. So now we have a much better rate of fire than we did before. And let's uh, let's start taking out some enemies here. We're flying through this guppy. Money dropping from our regular shots. We have contract from below, so we should... Uh, whenever one of these guys... No? I thought when that dropped, it uh, did other things. Also, Maw of the Void is a thing and can potentially drop black hearts for us. So that's also quite good. Ow! Enough. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Oh, wow. There's there's a lot more of them than I thought. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. There we go. You're dead. And was that all the waves? That was. And I'm continuing to shoot because Maw of the Void is a thing. Uh, so I don't know that we necessarily need any more items at this point. There's two down. And there you go, you're dead. And conquest. That was easy. Alright. You're dead, sack dagger. Uh, that hit me, but you're about to be dead too. Nice, what do we got? We have black hearts. Okay, so not so great, but hey, that's fine. All right, down to the next floor. Now, there is no item room. Uh, did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to make sure I grab both those items. Sometimes, as Isaac, you, like, forget because you go back to reroll stuff, and then you're like, oh, wait, I can't reroll this. So that's 60 cents we're at right now. We'll do that. See what this is. It's a bomb. Hey, secret room. With the trinket that I don't want. Okay. Um, and at this point, you re-roll the shop. I'm not really interested in any of that. I think I think what we're gonna do is we're we'll probably end up re-rolling the shop like one more time. But unless we get something in there that's like really good, we'll probably just uh take the money down to Ultra Greed or Super Greed or whatever his name is. So that we can donate it all. Because the whole point of doing these greed run, greed mode runs, I mean, obviously you get a little bit for unlocking, for completing it with different characters, but but it's also important to donate a bunch of stuff because you unlock some things by donating donating enough money to the greed machine. So that's also uh, an important thing that we need to consider and that we need to do. Because when we eventually do get the opportunity to unlock the Lost, I want to be able to play as the Lost like right away without having to go through all the stuff to unlock. Um, the Holy Mantle and all that kind of stuff for the Lost. Where? Oh, you're hiding back here. Sneaky, sneaky. That guy. Did you see that? He came out of nowhere. Okay. So, uh, actually, you know what? If I reroll now, I'm not going to have a chance to reroll again. So, let's just go. Super Envy's fine. Should be pretty easy with Guppy. I mean, we are Guppy, so we should win. We've got a, a decent amount of health, so again, we should be fine in that way. Like, this seems pretty fine. Let's just kind of clear them out. There we go. A little bit more. And now there's our boss fight up here. Oh, you sending the ghosts and stuff after me as well. Okay. Anytime you want to, like, pop out, you're dead. There we go. Up to 92 cents. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, okay. Oh, there's one more. He's somewhere. Oh, there. I, I found him. <laughs> he, was, he was right there. Stupid thing. Uh, and our deal with the devil is down here. And again, a couple of black hearts, but honestly, I'm fine with that. That's totally okay. So, re-roll one more time. Jesus Juice will actually take it because it is a damage upgrade and we do kind of need a little bit more damage than what we had. Got a couple of bombs to take down with us. Um, we'll blow this guy up in case he drops a little bit of money. And he did drop a little, but not much. So let's go down. Final floor. Hopefully we'll be able to donate all of this. And that'll take out a nice chunk of our... Uh, a nice chunk as well for our troubles. There we go. Um, hmm. 
Which of these do you blow up? I think you blow this one up. Yep, there we go. All right, so we're going in with 99 cents. It's ultra greed. We have a death card we can pop in case he uh, calls a bunch of minions out. We can kill them all pretty easily that way. We also have sack dagger and we're guppy, so we should be fine. We just have to kind of stay on him. Let Guppy generate some some flies and stuff. Ow. That, let that one hit me. Let Guppy generate some flies for us and stuff like that. Also, there's going to be some coins that pop up on the ground as we go. And we've got Head of the Keeper. So, uh, we want to keep firing here. There we go. Basically, keep these coins on the ground and only pick them up when we need money. Right? If we're not at 99 cents, don't pick up any coins. Uh, hit again. There we go. These are bombs. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Only heal reds. They only heal red hearts. I knew that. All right, he's bringing in the heart guys. That's fine. No big deal. Just stay on him. Just keep hitting him. Let Guppy do its thing. Get those Guppy flies in there. Don't get too crazy with sack dagger and all that kind of stuff. Just go for it. There we go. Keep shooting. One penny there that we can grab. Guppy's doing good damage for us. We should be able to finish this pretty easily. Almost done. Oh boy. Yep, yep, we're okay, we're okay. Uh, yep. Don't get hit by those. These things are annoying, but I have, pyro I have pyromaniacs, so... All these explosive attacks don't really do anything to me. They're just there. Which is something I probably should have considered. All right, so we have our death card here that we're going to use because we're about to have tons of enemies all over the place. So we'll pop that. That'll kill all of them. Nice and easy. And there we go. Dead. That unlocks little chests. And we can donate... A ton of money to the greed machine, which we will. So we're at 240. So we started like, what, 238, something like that. This should get us up. Uh, since this is the first time we've beaten greed mode with Isaac, uh, this should get us up to like 330. 330. That means we're, you know, maybe like five or six greed mode runs away from, uh, I think, Holy Mantle's at like 879 or something like that. Holy Mantle for the Lost. And we haven't even unlocked the Lost yet. I'd love, ideally, I would love to have Holy Mantle unlocked for the Lost before we even unlock the Lost. That would be great. That would be like a dream come true. But we're getting there. 35 cents, 33 cents left. And there's a little bit of money still lying around on the ground that we can pick up and donate as well, which, we, I mean, we might as well. There's no reason not to. Almost got it. Yeah, it's gonna, I think it's gonna let us donate the whole thing. And then maybe even a little bit more. Because he's got this. I don't need more bombs to blow that guy up down there. But yeah, 335. We didn't actually unlock anything from donating, but I think we're very close to another unlock. But there you have it, guys. That is gonna do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.